go to metamask.io, click get Chrome extension, add it to Chrome. You should see a little fox face appear up in the right hand corner of your browser. Click on it, create a password to access your account. Remember to make it a good password because like a bank account, MetaMask will hold actual valuables. Agree to the terms. This part is important, so I'll slow it down for you. At this stage, you are presented with a seed phrase. 12 random words in a specific order that are unique to your address. If you forget your password or get a new computer and want to reinstall the same account, these 12 words are the only way you can recover the account and the value it holds. Ethereum is designed so that there's no central authority that can steal, freeze, or block you from the network, which is awesome. But it also means there is no central authority that can help you recover your funds if you lose your password and seed phrase. So please, please, please write your seed phrase down and keep it somewhere safe and private. Okay, now you're in. Think about that. In about 30 seconds, without having to give up your personal details or be tied to any nation's banking system, you just created an account that anyone, anywhere can send funds to. Pretty cool. All right. If needed, you can purchase Ether directly in MetaMask through Coinbase or Shapeshift. Just click those buttons and you'll be taken through the steps. To receive Ether or ERC20 tokens in MetaMask, you simply have to share your public key with the sender. You can find your public key by clicking the menu button and selecting details, which will present you with a scannable QR code that links to your public key, your public key in full, or the ability to view your account and its public key on Etherscan. Alternatively, you can just click the account name right in the center of MetaMask and it will copy your public key to your clipboard so that you can easily share it with others. Anyone who knows your public key can send ETH to your account by designating that public key when sending funds. To send funds through MetaMask, click Send. Type or paste in the public key of the recipient and the amount you want to send. You'll now see this gas fee box. For now, you can likely leave these at the MetaMask defaults. But for your understanding, each action you ask the Ethereum virtual machine to perform requires a certain amount of gas, payable in ETH. The gas price is the amount you're willing to pay for each unit of gas, and the gas limit is the max amount of gas you would be willing to use to complete that transaction. But let's not get too lost in that now. For now, send your transaction by confirming the total to be sent plus the gas fee. You can click on that transaction and view it on Etherscan to check its status. Success! You've sent Ether, peer-to-peer. -peer. What about other tokens, you may ask? Well, as long as they are ERC20 tokens, meaning tokens built with the correct standards on the Ethereum blockchain, you can manage and send those the same way you would send Ether. To add tokens to your MetaMask account, you can search for the token inside MetaMask or get the token contract information via Etherscan and enter it in manually. The only real difference is when sending tokens, gas is still payable in ETH.